Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back and to everybody new, hello and welcome. So, happy Thursday, I believe it'll be Thursday. This is baby Athena and she's in an outfit a little big on her. I can pull the, pull these up on, uh, for her, but um, I just kind of left them hanging just to snuggle her the other night. So anyway, I'm going to change Athena. She is a full-bodied silicone baby. She's a preemie baby girl. And she is the Pearl Sculpt by Noe Art Doll. She's a crier. She's a little crying baby. She's got a little goo from the... <laughs> So we'll we'll let her get get her lungs clear there for a minute, and I hope the lighting's okay for y'all. I don't have all the lights on tonight that I normally do in the living room, but hopefully it'll it'll be okay. So I just wanted to pop in with a video, say hello to you all, um, update all of you that have been with my channel. And to those of you joining, again, welcome. And don't forget to go over and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss a video. So baby Athena is an anatomically correct uh, baby girl. I'm going to be changing her diaper and everything. So if baby bits, fake baby bits... Uh, <laughs> Is something that you don't want to see then this wouldn't be a big video for you so this is so sweet this little um romper i believe it's by mother care um which is closed now i think somebody might have mentioned where you could still get their clothes but i i do forget now yes i'm recording honey i do forget now um but anyway, I've had this for a while, and I myself actually got it secondhand, um, but it's so sweet. I think it's like the tiny baby size, but it's still a bit big for her, the romper part. The, the, um, this part isn't. The, I think the little onesie fits her very nicely. I rolled up the sleeves a little bit, and I think this is really cute, and it has little, um, rabbits on it and I see a little kitten and some hearts and I just love these um pastel and more like muted colors uh it's just my style my thing <laughs> so I need to give this baby girl a snuggle because she's gonna go in and say hi to your aunties come here let's say let's show you a little face up close there she is. Yeah, the lighting is not not great. Hang on, let me see if I can change that the light. You're going to hear me from across the room for a minute, but I'm going to see what I can do. I just want to see if it changes it. Um oh, actually, do we have a on? And then yeah, so I don't think that's going to change it much. I'm still fiddling with the lighting in here. Um, into how, as to how I want to film. And I think this will be the last video that I'll be recording on this phone, which is a uh, Samsung 8. Yeah, it's actually that old already. <laughs> um, I do not like to update my phones if I don't have to. Uh, but this one, the screen is cracked. It's slowed down and da, 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 da. And I actually got my new phone, uh, which will be, is a uh, S20, um, S20 something. I don't know. It's like the good model because I looked into it. Now, I actually, I actually, I, I could have gotten the Apple, the iPhone 12. The, I had the choice between the iPhone 12 and the Samsung 20. Um, I think I probably told you all this. I, you know, my whole family's on Apple, so, um, yeah, I, I was gonna, and I chickened out at the last minute, um, because I'm just, I don't even like to go from phone to phone, um, because 
you know, of course, hubby says, oh, it's so easy. You just put the smart switch and everything just goes over. And, well, yeah, everything does just go over. But everything's diff- a little different. The keyboard's different. The apps are in different places. You got to sign in to everything that, you're, that you normally have signed into. Your, quote, smartphone that remembers everything kind of for you like it's a whole redo (laughs) for somebody that's not great with technology you know it it takes some time to get used to um so yeah I I hold on to my my devices as long as I possibly can so but I do think because every we're all set up and uh yeah I think my hubby is going to be embarking on that for me tonight in doing the switch over so I wanted to record my last video so I am doing all right um I have a cold it is just a cold um but you know so just the sniffles and kind of feeling a little bit under the weather look at this messy hair (gasps) mommy's gotta fix your hair um but uh, the main thing going on here, of course, was the uh, tragic and unexpected uh, death of our dear uh, family friend's 22-year-old daughter. And uh, she's, you know, they're, they're family to us, you know. Um, so the the services will go like for over like 3d will run 3d well not the services but you know what i mean like the 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 wake the the closed thing the like it'll be three days um like two days that you could go to the funeral home and then um the third day uh will be the burial so like all that's like oh you know being done so um it starts tomorrow and it's it's gonna be rough I have not seen my friends yet because I you know I had been sick and uh you know it I I, I'm just I'm having a hard time I'm gonna have a hard time um myself like I I'm like oh my gosh I don't know how I'm gonna be able to be supportive because I'm gonna be myself just oh my gosh I just you know I've definitely spent the last few days like oh my gosh remembering to be grateful for every minute of every hour of every day Like, seriously, folks, it's what it's all about. It's what it boils down to. And I'll I'll just share this because, you know, these are not friends that are in the doll community or anything. So I don't think it'll be disturbing their privacy in any way. Just to say that the mom and daughter had an argument um, that evening and the next morning, you know, it didn't have anything, you know, her passing didn't have anything to do with the argument, but it, it just, that's how they left off on not speaking to you terms sort of thing. And, you know, that, that's a, a big cross to bear, you know, that, that the burden of just that alone you know, if that's the last time I saw my child and, uh, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely, you know, made me stop and think like I never want to leave off with anyone, no less, of course, anybody that I love, you know, on any sort of not good terms, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh if possible. I mean, we obviously we don't always have control over that, but you all know what I'm I'm saying, you know, if you if you can avoid having things that way because you just never know. I mean, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you just think it can't happen to you. And, it, you know, it's always you're hearing somebody else. Like, you're hearing this now. But it can. It can happen to anyone. And none of us have the promise of tomorrow, 10 minutes from now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really don't. We really don't. All sorts of things happen in life. Look at you. She's so sweet. Oh, she's crying. Let's get her a binky. Let me get a little bit of the lubricating jelly. I'm going to give her this little mam passy that goes with the, the bottle set. I have a couple of them because I, <laughs> I confess I bought a few. Um, so... Anyway, just put this on here to all you that are wondering. This is just a little bit of uh, KY. Well, it's the generic generic brand for uh, KY jelly. It's a water based lubricant, um, and that is just go. I put it on the ends of um, passies or bottles for my silicone babies um, to help protect the you know, their mouth, the paint of their mouth and, um, you know, the silicone sliding in and out and stuff. A lot, a lot of silicone collectors use that little trick. So she's got a pretty, you know, like it's not a tight fit because she's, well, this is a small passy, um, but because she's a crier, so yeah. Anyway, I didn't bring a onesie for her, but this one I'm putting on her just a little loved baby sleeper in their beautiful new color Moonbeam. And I had um, I had this one, and then I ordered um, in zero to three months for Oscar and for Bindi, which is my other two silicones. And um, so my three silicones each have one so now, and... Oscar and Bindi are in there, so Athena's going to go in hers, and I'll probably take a couple pictures, and everybody will be all, you know, just comfy, cozy, and snuggly for the next few days, because I have a feeling that I may want to snuggle a baby in the next couple days. <laughs> you know, they really kind of help just it's almost like a moment of meditation for me for me you know and I know I know a lot of collectors that, that do feel that this way that they they it kind of brings down your blood pressure if you're having a day having a moment and you pick up you know a baby you know I don't know if it's the weight or just the you know whole thing of you know whatever it just I guess if you're a doll collector and baby person, <laughs> um, you know, like I said, for me, I like to sit, I'll, I'll sit and I'll like, you know, lay them up like as if you were burping a baby, kind of just laying them on your chest, like with their, their head on your shoulder and I'll just like lay back or just sit and that's like, you know, how I will sit and... I had Bindi last night on the sitting on the couch and I was snuggling her and she's you know she's long and heavy so I don't know it just like can take your mind off things but look at you I didn't bring out a onesie for her but <laughs> I don't want to make this video too long to start going finding a onesie and she really I mean I probably would put one on a baby because it's winter and it's really cold, but she will have to survive. I think she will. Yes, I do. Her silicone is so soft. You know, it's that marshmallow blend silicone. Um, and oh my gosh, it's super soft. I actually find um her silicone um and Bindi's silicone, um, my Willow Awake, like, very similar. Um, you know, I guess because it's probably, I like the, 
it's like the Platinum Ecoflex 20 blend of soft silicone. Um, I mean, different artists, but I just, you know, in comparing silicone and the way that it feels and stuff, I feel like they're similar. Oscars is, to is totally different. It has like a texture and I'll have to do a comparison um, of all three of them now together and what the silicone feels like because I know that's helpful to collectors. Um, I certainly knew it's always been helpful to me along the way in um, watching the collectors that YouTube that share their silicone dolls and that share, you know, talking about um, the way the silicone feels in person and the sculpt and just, you know, everything, what they're seeing, what they're feeling um, has really been helpful to me because to me, like the Reborns, I can, you know, feel like I can play around with a little more and, you know, bring in and out and experience different sculpts and different artists but like with silicones I'm more like I have to get it right type of thing <laughs> um so and being able to see the movement to see the you know because sometimes it takes watching another collector's videos for like months until you pick up on certain things as they're as they're holding them in their arms and, you know, the movement and doing role play and feeding and all of that, you know, you just get a really, really good idea of what a silicone doll is like. I mean, of course, not in like getting them in person and feeling it, but it's, you know, it's definitely closest you're going to get to it and I always found to be helpful. What do you all think when you, those of you that have bought silicone babies, have you like researched and like, you know, finding videos of other collectors that have that sculpt, that doll or that artist like silicone or just like anything like the closest you could find? I think most of us do that, but I was just curious. If anyone kind of more like, you know, blindly buys silicone, not blindly, but you know what I mean, like buys without like going around looking for videos and things like that. I guess sometimes we're spontaneous, right? And we see a baby that, that, um, speaks to us, so to speak. And sometimes you just fall in love. But, yeah, I do that with the Reborns, but with the silicones, I'm definitely much more trying to be precise. So, we got her hair brushed. I'll brush it a little more off camera, but I'm just, oh my goodness, is that a spider? Did you all see that? Oh my gosh, it is. It's a tiny, oh, I don't want to kill it. <gasps> it went under, oh, there it is. <laughs> Great, you guys are going to watch me. I may have to, I can't kill it. It's a little baby spider. All right, guys, I'm not, I can't let this, it's so fast. Uh, <gasps> bye, guy. Oh, you all don't want to see it dead. Oh, I killed Charlotte. <laughs> God, <laughs> can't even edit. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know if you all were able to see that run across, but uh, it happened. You get the real deal here. Oh, I feel terrible now, though. There was no way to catch it. It was really small, like a baby spider, I guess. Um, and it, uh, there was just no way I was going to catch it because it was like in the at the end of the change table, like, and it was going fast. By the time I went and got something, forget about it. There's no way I would have been able to catch it to get it outside. Because normally I catch any bug. And, um, 
set it free outside. Um, unless I just kind of can't catch it or if it's just like really too scary. Sometimes that happens. I'll admit. Okay, so another thing for you comments. Now we're all confessing here. How many of you all kill a spider? Like, you know, if you have a spider in the house or any kind of bug, how many of you squash it or, you know, kill it, stomp on it, <laughs> whatever? And how many of you set them free? Do your best to set them free. How many of you, if you can't kill it, you'll just leave it running through? <laughs> leave it running around your house. <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm, I'm so curious as to what, where people's moral values are when it comes to insects. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just, you know, just asking. All right. This video is getting long and I don't want it to be. I want to give you all like a decently short one. So here's Athena in her loved baby. There she is. I'll show you Bindi real quick because Bindi's in here too. And the three of them are going to look so sweet in, in pictures. The girls have a little pink bow on. And he has Bindi say hi aunties. So... If you're enjoying my channel, uh, my channel does have a membership in the um, link in the description or the blue join button next to subscribe is how you get in. It's $1.99 a month. It's all inclusive. You can cancel that at eight, um, any time. You must be an adult, 18 or over, to join. But there is where I do my exclusive live streams, exclusive content, and other fun perks. So, all right, folks, I think that's about it. And I hope to, even though I got a lot going on, I, I, I'm going to try to film every day for you all this week um, to get back into I was for several weeks. I was like on a roll filming every day. Um, and even though I got stuff going on, like I find sometimes like even when the more I have going on, um, it's just such a break for me. It's such a treat. It's baby time. It's time with all of you. Plus then when I set the video to air, cause it's nighttime, you know, it's, um, Wednesday, like middle of the night. So I s will set the video to go in the morning. Hold on. Just going to cover y'all for a second because I don't want to show my, my bedroom or anything, but here's Oscar and his bassinet. He's laying on his tummy. I don't leave him like that. I just happened to flip him over before, um, or lay him down like this. Rather, I was talking to my husband. I had him in my arms and I just sat him down so I could look at him like that. But anyway, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with leaving him like that. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't. But there's Oscar in his loved baby. So, and I think what I was saying was, is, yeah. And then throughout the day, I, you know, I... I periodically pop in and, you know, read um, whatever comments have been left on the video. And, you know, it just, I I love hearing from you all. I love reading all of, of your, you know, everybody's, you know, sweet, kind comments. And, um, yeah, it makes me feel good. So even when I got, like, a lot of stuff or something stressful and, you know, sad going on in life, um... I still like to record videos, if that makes sense. Well, another question for all of you. I don't know if you're going to remember all my questions or if anyone's still listening to me ramble. But how many of you all that do make videos do that? Do you record more when you're, you know, feeling down or less? And actually, that's a like double thing for me because like sometimes I don't, but I'll talk about that in another video because it's probably like a whole topic to talk about, which will be good. All right, everyone, I'll stop rambling till next time. God bless.